Hello all, welcome to this tutorial on guidelines as to how you can get 20 testers for performing closed testing on Google Play Console. We will also cover how you can get feedback of Google Play Console closed testing track from testers and apply for access to production of your Android app to Google. I am sure this information will be immensely useful to you so do stay till end of the video. In November 2023, Google changed the requirements for publishing new apps on Google Play. As per new testing requirements developers with personal accounts created on Google Play Console after November 13, 2023, will need to test their apps before those apps are eligible to be published for distribution on Google Play. If you have a newly created personal developer account, you must run a closed test for your app with a minimum of 20 testers who have been opted in for at least the last 14 days continuously. When you meet these criteria, you can apply for production access on the dashboard in Play Console so that you can ultimately distribute your app on Google Play. When you apply, you must answer some questions to help understand your app, its testing process, and its production readiness. So, to get 20 testers the most common way is to use personal and professional networks. You can reach out to your friends, family, colleagues, or classmates, for example, and ask them to be beta testers for your app. You can reach out to communities where users are likely to exist and actively recruit them to test your app. For example, if you're building an app for CrossFit enthusiasts, then consider approaching a local club or connecting with your target users in online groups. You can also post about your app on social media and ask your followers to sign up for testing. If possible, you should recruit a diverse group of testers to identify bugs and usability issues that may be specific to certain types of users or devices. For the same reason, you should also recruit testers who you believe to be representative of your app's future users. For example, if you're developing a productivity app for businesses, you should recruit testers who are business professionals from different industries in which you believe your app may be popular. The closer your test users are to your target users, the more useful feedback you'll receive. Friends, once you have recruited a group of beta testers, it's important to provide them with clear instructions on how to test your app and report bugs. Let your testers know what type of feedback you are looking for. Try to encourage testers to use as many of your app's features as possible in order to receive holistic feedback. Include a feedback channel or let your users know how they can provide you with feedback, for example, by email, website, or message forum. Your testers can also provide you with private feedback through Google Play. Emphasize to your testers that they need to remain opted in to your closed test for at least 14 days continuously. If you have an app in testing on Play Console, you can access and reply to user feedback in Play Console itself. Feedback from users is only visible to you and can't be seen on Google Play. To gather and view user feedback open Play Console and go to the testing feedback page by navigating to ratings and reviews then testing feedback. Keep a record of feedback you receive. Rereading this later may make it easier for you to identify common feedback themes or issues that you want to address in the short or long term to improve your app. Google will also ask you to summarize your testing feedback for them later when you apply for production access. Once you've met the closed testing requirements, you can apply for production access. To begin, go to the dashboard. Click Apply for Production. You must then answer certain questions about your closed test, your app, and its production readiness. These questions are divided into three sections. 1. About your closed test. 2. About your app or game. 3. Production readiness. Provide information for each section depending on your Android app or game and how did you get it to be production ready. After you've completed your request for access to production, Google will review your submission. 
When the review is complete, Google will email the account owner with an update. This usually takes seven days or less, but may occasionally take longer. If your application is successful, you can access production by going to release then production and can make your app available to billions of users on Google Play when you think it's ready. You can also use open testing by going to release then testing then open testing. If you want details on how to set up and perform testing on different testing tracks please refer to my previous videos from the link in the description below. We have covered everything for this tutorial. Please subscribe, like, comment and share my channel to support me. Thanks for watching.